What is up guys, Ezio Vega here, and I'm bringing you a way how to jailbreak your PSP Go or PSP 3000, or I, I guess any PSP, really, and for the PSP, normal PSP, not the Go, you're going to have to have it updated all the way to 660, I'm sorry, but yeah, and it's pretty easy how to do it and everything, and it doesn't affect anything with the PSN. I don't know if it does or doesn't, but really, who uses the PSP to be using the PSN and stuff like that? So, yeah. So, I will put in the description below this one for your PSP. And this one for your PSP Go. Now, this one, since I have the PSP, the normal PSP... I'm going to use the 660 B10. Now what you need to do is well, the stuff you need first is of course the PSP, a USB cable, and I'm not sure for the PSP go if you need the memory, the memory stick it has. And yeah, but for my PSP, the PSP 3000 and PSP 1000 2000, you will need a memory stick. You will. So, just need any basic, if it's any, any. So, you want to click it. You need WinRAR, just in case. Now, these are the files that it includes. You're going to need to... You're going to need to just get all of them, like this. Just like this, don't forget this one right here. And just drag them over to here. And you should be set for right there. Just in case I'll do do it. And well yeah. And this is the thing this is the part where you need to use the PC. Now onto the PSP itself. So now on to the PSP part. So what you want to do now is just go onto your memory stick on your PSP or on your PSP Go. Go to your system data, I believe. It, right there, basically where you go to the game section. So you're gonna have you're gonna see these three files: update, fast recovery, and CPL, CP, no CIPL flasher. Now you want to click update. So you can update your, and um, once you click it, you'll see a black screen, and it'll show in a little while. Now, yeah, just press X, and to X again, just follow the instructions it gives you. Mine's a little dis different, I think, because I already installed it and everything. So now that's done, it's going to restart the PS3 and bring you up to the menu screen again. Now check your system settings and system information. And they'll prove to you that you have it hacked. It should say 6.60 Pro B10 if you have a PSP 3000, 2000, or 1000. Now if you have a PSP Go, it should say 6.20 Pro B10. Now, yeah, now... If you ever accidentally take out the battery or you run out of battery and it's dead, just it's once you start it up again, it's not going to work anymore like you won't have the hack anymore. So where you want to go is click your memory stick or system data. And it will show that I do it here in a little while. And yeah, it's, there was a permanent patch. It's, it didn't come with mines. So you want to click fast recovery. And they'll, they'll automatically real quick do everything for you. And you'll have the hack again. The jailbreak. So yeah. you sh I don't know if. Yeah. Yours, the 620 has a permanent patch I think. But please do not use it. I'm, I'm advising you not to do it. 
Um, some, some that one, it, it might damage your PSP. So, probably I wouldn't use the permanent patch. So here it is, showing you again. You can try it too if you want. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and please subscribe, rate, and comment. And up next, I'm gonna show you how to put ISO games and Grand Theft Auto Liberty City stories. Peace.